What is happening ladies and germs, this is the Packer Man, and welcome back to Green and Gold Games and my Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Beckon Quest. And we just completed Dungeon 5, and uh, before we go to Dungeon 6, which I'm trying to remember where that one is, um, gotta go and get the uh, Magical Sword now that we have the hearts necessary to, um, to grab it. But, while we're doing that... I gotta go all the way around. I think I have to go all the way around through the freaking Lost Woods in order to get the damn thing. I'm gonna need to get some more Love Potion. But before all that, I, there's something I want to get off my chest here. Um, give me one second. It's a secret to everybody. Huzzah! 100 rupees. But, um, getting back to what I was going to get off my chest, um, while we play along here, um, Now, at the time I'm recording this, uh, it was announced recently, because today is the 16th at the time I'm recording this. Of course, this might be uploaded at a little bit later date than that. But that aside, um, um, there is a venture that's going to be coming to television in the fall that I'm going to be interested in doing reviews on, and that's... Um, all Elite Wrestling EW. And, um, their first uh, pay per view is coming up one week from this coming Saturday. Again, at the time I'm recording this, this is being recorded on the, on the 16th. Um, and they recently announced that they have a new television deal with TNT, and they're going to start airing a weekly uh, wrestling show. Uh, in the fall. So that's um, something that I'm going to be interested in covering. At least I'm going to give it a shot. Because I, I was a wrestling fan many years ago with WWE, but WWE, let's be honest here, is fucking garbage nowadays. But uh, I am interested in uh, giving All Elite Wrestling a chance. Well, <clears throat> there's a guy who did a, a live stream on YouTube recently, which is the first time I think he's done one in four years on YouTube. His name is Bruce Blitz. And, you know, I have a lot of respect for him as a, you know, sportscaster, you know, having the ability to analyze, um... sports like he does. You know, and I enjoy content quite a bit, but there are times when he just seems to fucking go off the deep end. And this was one of those times where he was basically... So we get the magical sword here. Ah. Now we're on our way to level 6. Uh, but getting back to what I was saying before, um, he basically did a live stream on YouTube last night, um, and he also did a top 10 as to why AEW will fail uh, a couple weeks ago. And basically the name of the stream was like, um, just what the rest, just what the world needs more fighting or some bullshit like that. And it's basically him spending over an hour basically just ranting, you know, about how he can't believe that people are excited about this new concept of AEW, you know, and all this other shit. And 
and basically decrying people for being excited for fake fighting, as he calls it now, because, you know, he used to be someone that was into professional wrestling, but of course, thanks to, no thanks to WWE, um, his love for it has diminished quite a bit, which, you know, I don't really blame him on, but at the same time, you know, he, he, I mean, a lot of times, this, you know, he gets onto these tangents, and he just goes belligerent. You know, I mean, I remember one review that he did, where, um, John Cena beat AJ Styles for the, um, WWE Championship, and he went absolutely fucking mental. I mean, he was completely losing, and he was breaking shit, breaking, you know, glass cups and all that stuff, and it really started to become very uncomfortable to watch. It's like, on the one hand, I understand why he's so upset, but at the same time, I mean, he was just completely losing it. You know, and then during that video, he's like, you know, why are you getting so excited for fake fighting? You know, and men in underwear doing fake fighting. It's time to grow up, you know, and all this other shit. And it's like, first of all, you had the unmitigated gall to tell someone to grow up acting like a fucking rage tart. Like, give me a fucking break, dude. I mean, you're not, you're acting like a fucking raging asshole. So if anybody who needs to grow the fuck up, it's you, dude. I mean, especially since you're old enough to know better. Second off, why is it any of your fucking business what people watch and don't watch? You have no dictation over what the fuck someone chooses to watch. So get the fuck off your high horse, dude. This is where level six is. Cha-ching! Level six. But to kind of put a period on this, you know, I mean, you can, I mean, if you don't want to support all elite wrestling and you think that, you know, pro wrestling is not going to improve despite the fact that AEW now exists and has a television deal, that's fine and dandy. But, you know, you used to be the kind of guy that says if you like it, more power to you, yet nowadays, you just seem to criticize people who want to watch, you know, a certain product. You know, and if you don't, you, you know, Here's the other ultimate irony. He still covers WWE, you know, on his website, probably begrudgingly because he's sick and tired of the product. I mean, it used to be like full reviews of, um, of the shows, but now it's just part of a um, podcast that he does, and it's just kind of mentioning it in passing for, for the most part. It's not like in-depth as it used to be. Not as in-depth as it used to be, which, you know, is whatever, because WWE's fucking garbage anyways. But, you know, now it just seems like he's just bitching about people that are getting excited for AEW, and it's like, why the fuck do you even care, dude? I mean, is anybody holding a gun to your head asking you to watch this and cover it? I mean, I know you have enough on your plate as it is, because, I mean, he busts his ass on his website blitzsportsnetwork.com so I know he's got you know I have a lot of respect for him for that because I mean he puts a lot of work into that thing the amount of content on there is just crazy you know but seriously dude take a fucking chill pill and just relax okay AEW hasn't even had its first match yet and you're already you know decrying like it's going to be an absolute failure you know, you might want to be careful sticking your neck out like that, because sooner or later someone's going to come along and chop it off. You know, and the other thing is, what if AEW ends up being successful? Now you're going to have egg on your face. And you're going to lose a lot of credibility as a sports journalist. If that ends up being the case. 
you know, and I know you have a lot of knowledge for the business and you're right a lot of times, but sometimes, you know, you gotta learn when to stop sticking your neck out on certain things and you are really sticking your neck out on this one. But, you know, you know, maybe he'll be right and AEW will fail. Who knows? But all I'm saying is let's not jump to conclusions. Let's not jump the gun like so many fucking people do and it just gets on my nerves. Take the let's take the wait and see approach and let's let the situation develop before we start spouting off. And that's another that's another thing that I got to talk about, but I'll do that in another episode. But just had to get that off my chest. Enough ranting. Let's get back to having fun. Bear in mind that I have no idea where anything is in here, because it's been a while. And of course we have red bubbles and more whiz robes. Because of course we do. Let's take care of those guys. That's right, I can't go this way yet. I don't have the damn stepladder yet. Which I think means that I'm going to find it somewhere within this dungeon. Jesus. Oh, slow down. find that step ladder. I've been this way yet. Doesn't look like it. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. I have the magical sword now. It's down here. I've already been this way. Yeah, I was this way. Okay. This is coming from the north. <clears throat> Let's go west. Thank you. 
Gotta watch out for those secrets like this, and there's that stab ladder. Yes. And I'm officially out of keys. Now it's an arrow, Mark hides a secret. Okay, there's something to the right, which is this area. I do wonder if something's here. Maybe a key? map and I have no idea what the what kind of map is that I don't know what that's supposed to signify but we're heading north y'all there's the compass robes. I can cross that way.
nice to change this time. Missing something here. Ah, there it is. Knew it had to be something. Okay, and we're here. I have one key left. This should take us down to the, sh the bottom room below the Triforce. That does. <laughs> and it <laughs> brings me out to a freaking manhandler. And who is this? Fireballs everywhere. <sighs> nice shoot. Come on, open your eye back up. Will complete level six, and that will also complete this episode. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, apologize for the rant at the beginning, but I had to get that off my chest. But uh, yeah, that's six levels down, two to go, and uh, that'll do it for this edition of Green Gold Games. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, this is the Packer Man signing out.